Get ripped quick. How to burn a thousand calories in an hour. They say it can be done. Plus your latest news, weather and traffic all tomorrow on Good Day Colorado. What a difference a year makes. We'll take a look back at a year ago when President Obama took office and see how the country feels today. You won't believe how many first graders have cell phones. Nick Jonas coming to Denver. Plus, you got to see Martha Stewart on the stripper pole. This is where I'm meant to be every day. Everybody and welcome to every day on this hump day. It feels like hump day, doesn't it? I think it Libby feels needs like a push. <laughs> I need a push right to the weekend. That's what I need. I've been thinking it's Thursday. Looking forward to tomorrow. That's Friday. Don't, like, oh, it's no, Thursday. No, Thursday. No, no. Live in the moment, oh, Natalie. Oh, Live in the moment. I, ever, I am. I live yes. for the weekends. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you guys. So, how many hours a week do you think the average kid is involved with some type of electronic media? Too many. Like cell phones, mm, iPods, You're talking games, hours? computers. Yeah, how many hours a week? Your I would kids. say my, kids? my kids, ten, 10 hours. Maybe an hour. Maybe, yeah, maybe and an that hour includes, or so a day. That includes like television, computer, computer, iPod, well, not DS, the, not the DS TV, machine, say, if you iTouch. Had a TV, there's a lot of them, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I know that I, my seven year old, the DS, I've got three kids. The first one, eh, she's into it a little bit. Second one, you can't drag All him about away. The DS. He's like, mm. yeah. Yeah, his is the mine, DS. Mine loves the DS. They love it. Third one plays for a while, done. Yeah. But the, the one, I, sometimes I think, oh my God, you're in a zone. He doesn't even hear you. It's okay, bizarre. He's tuning you out. So I what's doubt the deal? That your kids have this much, but I don't know. When you add it all up, the very scary answer to that question is 53 hours a week. That's yeah. more than That's a full time average. job. That's ridiculous. It is. That is ridiculous. That, it is like yeah. having a full time job, but the kids in front of some type of screen, playing games, listening to music, talking on the phone. The study found the kids 8 to 18 are spending 79 more minutes of their free time each day using some form of electronic device. Device than they did just a decade ago. And we wonder why we're having an obesity problem with yeah, our kids. Seriously. They're not that, outside that's playing. Why, like yeah. I just grew up outside playing, didn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. nearly twice as many say they use at least two things at the same time. It's not just the obesity thing, too. What bothers me is you know, we need to inspire kids to have their imagination. Yeah. When I was young, we used imagination. We dressed up like Madonna and danced in front of the mirror. <laughs> that yeah, was well, creative. Look how you turned out. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? I think that's a little. I think that, that 53 hours is skewed for the older kids. I don't think it 8 and 9 and 10 year olds are spending that much time. They shouldn't be. I think it's weighted heavily to the I think older you're wrong. kids. I think you're wrong. Because no, not I, in my house anymore. Well, no, no, no. Not no. in your house and not in my house, but no. I think a there lot of parents use it as, as a babysitter. Well, Absolutely. that's true, but I still think if they broke it down, took two age groups at a time, you would find that the numbers increase as you get to the well, older and, kids. You know, does Especially include, the cell phones. This, does this include the Wii? It does, because oh, that, any type of screen time. Yeah. You know what amazes me mostly about it? I have an eight-year-old, she just turned nine, a five-year-old, and the baby. But my five-year-old, given an eye touch, within five minutes knows what she's doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. I mean, oh, yeah. They're, they're my so five-year-old, too. Yeah. Pretty sophisticated. And you know what I think it is? That we, we would be afraid to do something and mess it up. But so many of the electronics now, you just do whatever, and you, don't, you can't mess it up. You just go back. You push the back yeah. button. And yeah. cell yeah. phones, too, like they know exactly what to do, how to change the wallpaper, whatever it is. <laughs> just screw up your Issue. Okay, exactly. the cell phone issue is interesting yeah. because last year more than 35% of kids ages 10 to 11 had cell phones. All right, my daughter wants a cell phone. She's 10. I won't no do that. way. Do you, okay, I'll well, tell you what I did. I you guys are going to criticize me for this, but I'll tell you what we've done in my house. And I did it more for me and for my husband than I did for the kids. We have a kid phone. It's not my one daughter's phone. It's not the other daughter's phone. And you know, the first reason I did it is because I got a good deal, and it was a free phone with the company, so I had this extra phone. Right. But they take it when they go somewhere, and I want to be able to get a hold of them. So if my daughter's but they can't use it anytime they oh, want. Oh no, no, no. Well. If my daughter's at basketball practice, then I send it with her. So tell me when you're done, call me on the phone so that I have communication with them. I like being able to communicate with her. And the other thing I like about it is that she's learning to read. So she'll text, but she only texts the people that I have entered into the phone. So grandma, grandpa, you know, my friend. So she only has a certain number. I still and think I that's think that a it's young. a I, I think it's a little but young. it's yeah. not and it's not her phone. 
that I you control I it though. I think control that's it. reasonable. As a matter of fact, I control all the electronics yeah. in my house. Hey, listen, in Fraser's well, day, I I don't doubt. we don't doubt that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in Fraser's day, let's face it, it was a tin can and a string. That's yeah. how you communicated. So lighten up on that. I took it with me everywhere I went. <laughs> Carried it like it was a cell phone. Well, I think the key is, as a parent, that you should control, control. it. You should know what it is. Yeah, and I you still hand it to think them. though. I disagree. Ten to eleven. Ten to eleven is too young. Yeah, we didn't have a more than ten. Thirty minutes a day of screen time, phone, computer, yeah. whatever it is, you right. choose. Yeah. Thirty minutes a day. I'm with That's Natalie. Though. It's a safety thing that her kid has the phone. No, so you, you know to what? Can touch but they're always yeah. with no. the parent. You yeah. don't leave them no, on their own. No, if they're basketball practice, or practice or they're that, with exactly. the coach. Right. There's right. Uh, there's think, always a parent. Right. I got your back. What if now. something and happens and they need to call 911? The, the coach is going to do it. What if the coach the collapses? Coach is, ladies, oh, ladies. No, 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 no. I think it's okay. And frankly, I'd be irritated if, if I had my daughter's friends with me and they were sitting there on their cell phone. Well, I'd be don't like, do that. you know no, what? No, if you need no. to get a hold of your mommy, I'll call her. No. I'll do it for yeah, you. I no, agree. tends to. This is why I don't have kids. Makes everything very easy. That and a bunch of other reasons. All right, guys. Did you know? One year ago today, and this is so interesting, following uh, the Senate race in Massachusetts, one